Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, uh, today, chums, this is just a bit of a roundup of how the Light Nose Sky Challenge actually went. So it has come to a finale of sorts. Anyway, I'm going to let you see the showdown between who was left, basically, Ricey, the Starship Emporium, the leader of Empire. Let's jump on over to a bit of footage, people. How do that, people? My heart rate just skipped the beat. Wiggle Worm is going up against Ricey. I'm here to sort of watch the carnage. And here's Wiggle Worm. The Empire is about to hopefully take him down. So there's a bit of lag. Okay, I'm on the wrong island. <laughs> Okay, I can see two little dots going at it. This is like Dragon Ball that I'm watching from over here. Oh, oh I'm trying to choose my attack plan. Yeah, it's like Rice is taken to the air. Oh, I need to get in my ship to get over there to see this in better. You're going to be doing voiceover, are you, Ricey? Yeah, probably. No, he got me. He got you? Yeah. Is Wiggle Worm victorious? Oh, he is. Well, that's going to be a short video. Hold on. It says that Wiggle Worm <laughs> also died, I think. Oh, did I get him as well? I think so. I think both of you are gone. Oh, that was a one on one, perhaps. Oh, my days. Yeah, on Wiggle, the sidebar. It says, Mercenary Wiggleworm died a oh, nominous yeah. combat got, death. I got him. Yes. And well, Ricey. There we go. I, there we are. It's there. Oh. Yes. Okay. Oh. We're going to do a Slutamondo to the old um, oh, Wiggleworm. Okay. Well done, Wiggleworm. You got me. But then again, I got, in fact, you. your death is slightly before my death. So. <laughs> <laughs> One way to look at it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I saw your tactics though, Ricey. He was doing jump maneuvers and all sorts of stuff. It was he was, and I, I he was digging up underneath. But I saw the ground starting to move, and I could hear his terrain manipulator. A sneaky. So ambushed uh. him as he came up from underneath, and I think I got a, a one shot on him first before he finished me off. We we exchanged shots, and yeah, our bush shields both went down at the same time. Wow. Okay, well, that Ooh. was quite an epic battle. I didn't quite capture all of it. Crunchy. I'm going to have to watch it from your side. Yes. But, nice one, Ricey. Well, that means that there's no faction leaders left. You're going to have to join me no. in the Jedi realm. Yeah. <laughs> I shall indeed. So there we have it, people. So, yeah, Ricey and Wiggleworm went down in the history books. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they both died at the same time. Which means there was no faction leaders left. Now, each of the factions did have their main players still out there, still doing battle, but we also had new players jumping into the actual event, so it could have gone on for freaking ever. Uh, we really need to lock this down and get the rules a bit better next time around to stop that from happening, or else we're going to get a forever war. So, yeah, some of my actual persons remaining was Ghostlight was still in the mix, yeah. And um, you know, Cynical still had some of his best fighters out there, and so did Ricey. So, but it was trying to get different time zones online at the same time. And that didn't quite go to fruition either. So anyway, what we thought might be easier is to do a little mini roll call and then also knight people. So I'm going to choose three people from my faction to actually knight. And so is Ricey and so is Cynical, just so we can give out some rewards for this sort of thing. So, the 07 Brew Cruise Knights is Ghostlight. Congratulations, Ghostlight, I guess. We've also got Ominous Gaunt. Well done. And East Slick. They're my three knights that I'll be knighting. So, from here on in, you're going to be known as Sir. And also, you're going to get rewarded, yes, in some way, shape, or form that you can redeem. I'll get onto that in a sec. So the rewards will be claimable inside of Season 2. So if you do get given a knighthood, while you're in creative mode and you go to the actual station to pick up a few cosmetics for your base building, while you're in that creative sort of instance, you should be able to pick up the tech for a weapon of your choice. Either a scatter blaster, 
Or you can go for a blaze javelin. They're the two weapons that the knights get to choose. We're also looking at putting out another award called the Grand Architect Award. So this goes to the person that's built the snazziest base that kind of meets the requirements of light no sky or light no fire, whatever, inside of the instance. Now it wouldn't be fair for me to go around my own bases and judge because you know I've got members there, super members, backers and all that sort of stuff. So to try and make it more impartial, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to go and review one of either Rice's or Cynical's sort of areas and they're going to come and review mine. We're going to review each other's and we're going to choose the best builder amongst that other faction. And whoever wins the Grand Architect Award, for the first day, a full 24 hours, you're going to get to stay in creative mode and build an awesome wondrous base. Now each season we're going to be choosing different people tonight and a different architect. So as this progresses, there's going to be more knights, there's going to be more grand architects, and the event is going to slowly grow as, as so do we, you know, which is going to be pretty nice. We're going to also introduce a few things in season two that are a little bit different from season one. It's like it was very hard to tell the difference between each faction. So we're thinking next time around, I might be a Viking, and so anybody that joins my faction and we all dress in red and white and we'll probably pick a certain title or tag to have on our name you know like at the moment you can have the warden of glass or something like that we're going to choose tags like that so people can see as titles so as you actually hover over you can see what faction people are in even at distance so that should help too so we've got quite a lot of ideas that came from people that were actually in this as well as ideas that Ricey and Cynical and I had we're going to be splurging all that together to come up with a better remit for rules in season two so although season one was chaos it was bloody good fun it really was had an epic time out with you guys out there in the verse and you really did make this event an event so thank you big round of applause to everybody that took part so yeah anyway there's a lot that we need to get in, in into the actual rules and established and all that sort of shenanigans it's going to take us a long time to agree with everything that we need to put into this but we are hoping that there's going to be a no man's sky update either a tail end of may to mid june hopefully we're going to see an update and if we do Hopefully that's going to keep the community quite happy, quite excited and doing something. And then as soon as that sort of like dies down a bit and we start to see numbers start to drop, that's when we're going to do season two. So we've got a little bit of a break to get everything in order. If you have got any ideas, hit up either myself, Cynical or Ricey. We'll be all ears. Heck yes. Listen to your ideas with our ears and hopefully get them into the actual rules. So there we go, people. Until next time. Oh. Actually, there's one other thing you could be doing if you really want to do something to try and help us. We're trying to look for a really nice, lush planet that has hardly any storms, limited sentinel sort of ferocity. Still want a bit of a challenge there, but it doesn't matter overly. But we would like to find a planet that has decent flying pets. So that's, you know, you've got the farting fish, but they tend to drop when you start riding them. The cuttle type weird looking elephant fish that fly that you can ride the butterfly type creatures, or even the beetles. Yes, so if you do come across a really nice, lush or interesting planet with any of those flying creatures on, again, hit up one of your faction leaders, hit up Cynical, Ricey or myself with those coordinates. And hopefully you might even pick your planet to go on. It needs to be in Euclid though, because we need to be starting in a creative new save once this actually kicks off as well peeps so yeah there you go there's something that you could be doing if you really want to do something if you want to give yourself a little mini challenge and get involved in another way do that thank you guys till next time people thank you for watching salute mondo and a massive great big congratulations to empire yeah yeah and then congratulations to everybody that took part anyway you know it, this one was this one was a test run so yeah, Ricey won the test one, and the Empire. I'm just downplaying it because I'm a bit jealous that I didn't win. But there we go, people. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Channel covers mainly no man's sky. Oh, seven. Every time Captain Steve activates a portal, he shouts. Take a power. Channel 2
she'd be happy if you do. Let's find